Lord Mahavir and transmitted to the core um, disciples Gandhar, 11 Gandhar. So Namaskar Mahamantra, the last Purva, uh, Drishtivad and in Drishtivad there are many sections and the most important section is Mantra Pravad Purva. And in the Mantra Pravad Purva, we get Namaskar Mahamantra. And its various uses in various terms. Even today in Jain congregation, we try to see the highest mantra composed on Namaskar Mahamantra. Namaskar Mahamantra is one. Namo Arihantanam, Namo Siddhanam, Namo Ayriyanam, Namo Uvajjhayanam, Namo Loe Sabba Sahunam. Then one couplet in the praise of Namaskar Mahamantra. Hmm? So five padas and Namaskar Mahamantra has a vast ocean of mantras derived from the Namaskar Mahamantra. Ekakshri Mantra, A, C, A, U, Sa, hmm? from first syllables. And then uh, each and every syllable have its own mantra and different its applications. It has different application. You know, to be a doctor, we have to crack the MBBS exam. When pass out through the MBBS exam, then there are some specialization. <laughs> and specialization <coughs> as a cardiologist, as a nephrologist, as a dermatologist, and spiritization, any, any, so many are there. In the same way, Namaskar Mahamantra is MBBS, GP. And then there are so many branches and that is specialization. Specialization of Namaskar Mahamantra. So today I am taking one part of it and that is effect of planetary system. Now, you may arise one question. Is there any Jyotis in Jain? Yes, we do. Acharya Bhadrabah, he wrote a great uh, big thesis on the Jain Jyotis. And many other Acharyas also composed something small and long. So you see, if I go to the Upanishadas, the knowledge of Upanishadas, there is a thing, yes. Hmm. Sarji, you can come here. Yeah. No, no, no needs, no need. Here I have in a place. You have chairs? Oh. Agi jige, agi. If this door is open, so many of them can listen from here. With planetary system. In Upanishads, we get a good knowledge, and that knowledge is. Yatha Pinde Tatha Brahmande. What is in body and that is also in the universe. What is in universe that is also in the body. Our body, if you have seen, I think once I did a lecture and that lecture was uh, about the Jain universe. I think if you recollect, Jain universe is like this. Like a mm. human body. Mm -hmm. And maybe sometime I will take this quote. So Jain body, human body and the universe. So from the Upanishads learning, we can come out and we can match this. That what is in the body, that is also in the universe. Micro <coughs> level and macro level. So human body is small but it contains everything what is in the universe. So all the nine planets, each and every planet has its own place in the universe. In the same way, human body has all these planetary system and its 
places in our body. You know, we go in the deep study of Pragyapana Sutra. There are two types of pains. One pain is due to Abhyupagam. Means what I believe. Due to my belief, I get some pain, some pleasure. And the second is Opakramik. Due to the rising state of karma, I get some pain and pleasure. And that pain and pleasure again divide into four category drabbe means substance related something can create pain something can create pleasure so you see some medication when we were small child in our village there was a uh, ayurvedic vedji ayurvedic doctor so whenever there is half break in the school we used to go to Vedeji. Oh Vedeji, I have stomach pain. Give me some churan. <laughs> and Vedeji first passed on some smile and then he gave a little bit churan. So he made it uh, a routine and always used to go. Then after two, three days or one week, then he said, no, you don't have pain. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the small thing medication and when some medication is not palatable then mother or some grandmother they put some honey some oil something I mean, some sweet on it and then they used to give so palatable some are good some are not good some taste good some don't taste good some act good some don't act good some side doing some after effect and bad side effects some cure only. They are very hard to take, but very good for the human body. So, Drabhi Nimitta, Kshetra Nimitta. Yeah. Sometime, you see, staying in London, you feel, okay, it's good time to go to India. <laughs> but sometime in June or July, if you, someone asks, go India, they say, no, we don't want to go India. <laughs> Yeah, we would like to come back longer. Mm -hmm. That's pleasant. Kshetra Nimittam. Then Kaal Nimittam. London is not always pleasant. India is not always pleasant. There is no place which is always pleasant. So, it is Kaal Nimittam. Bhava Nimittam. What is the inner state? Suppose the pleasant weather, everything is good. But our inner bhav is not good. And they also create some pain. In the midst of pleasure, one person is so much miserable. In the midst of misery, one person is always in pleasure. So, drabhya, kshetra, kal, and bhav. All create pain and pleasure in our life. So, planetary system. That is also important. And I would like to correlate because whenever I used to do any lecture, this is not my own reading. <coughs> this is not my own formula. Just I have had a lot more opportunity to listen direct from the Acharya Mahaprabhu. Once during the winter time, during the Mariyada Mahotsav, we were in the presence of His Holiness and Ajari Mahaprabhu Ji. He is a great believer of this occult science, and jo uh, like astrology. And he told Samanis, there was more than 100 Samanis, we are sitting in His presence and He said, look, there is an impact of the solar system, planetary system in our body. But if you know something which can save you, which can give you peace, you can come out from the bad impact of the some planets. Sometimes people are very scary about Rahu, Ketu and Sun. Sunni ni shade shakti. Sunni no dayo. Ghani baddi baddu chale 
that day acharyasri given us a full fledged technique and he told us that our body it's a macro level a uh, micro level micro macro so it is micro and you universe is macro mm. so we have many connection with it and this is affecting our whole body mind our action speech and behavior so be aware of it and namaskar maha mantra <coughs> have tremendous healing power in it so he given this so first of all i am taking buddha grah you all know buddha grah sambhale ho se buddha grah buddha grah it is related to voice you know some person they communicate so well they convince the people they make the thing from tongue to heart and heart to action so this buddha grah is mantra is so first of all i would like to tell is place is uh, kendra shakti kendra where is shakti kendra because last 9 years passed <laughs> in the huh at the bottom of spine because in this lecture you have a test <laughs> <laughs> so listen the shakti kendra is a bottom of spine store house of energy you know without energy you can speak no when we have fever thoda garam अभी कुछ नहीं भाता है आई डोंट नो बिकॉज लो एनर्जी देन वॉइस इज लो सो पावरफुल वॉइस इम्प्रेसिव वॉइस यू नीड पॉजिटिव बुद्ध ए पॉजिटिव बुद्ध ग्रह देन इट इज वेरी हेल्पिंग very much healthy but sometime would you have lot more power but whatever you speak it goes in the wrong direction the uh, the people think oh he is speaking sugar coated maybe is different <laughs> intention <laughs> so sweet it means there is some other intention <clears throat> so powerful <clears throat> or so oily so buttery Yes, people are taking it means your buddh is not in the right position and people are taking uh, what you want to say they are taking quite opposite vakri buddh means the transit it is not on the right track right transit and buddh kharab che it means it is making your voice with dual meaning and people try to find out from your intention so this buddhi is playing very important role in our day to day life very important role in our communications and very important role in making relationship and building society and teaching and act. all these things are related to this some person is speaking and at the time we think oh when he stop when will he stop <laughs> and sometime very powerful speaker stopped mm. buddha vakri mm. and sometime someone is speaking okay like just recalling from the parliament of world religion and swami vivekananda got only 4 minutes time and as a powerful speaker he made the head up of the whole india in the world throughout the world platform why by his powerful speech he started so powerfully so nicely the speech goes like this on the head of every head to the world and that is most powerful speech even today 
hundred years passed but still we remember that speech and the whole world remember that speech and he made the head of india high in the world religion platform so if you do a deep study of acharya tulsi acharya mahapragya acharya mahasraman in their horoscope the buddha is very good rising state and that's why the an influence influential personality through their tongue the preacher is successful most successful if their buddha is on the highest position and that householder is also lucky if their buddha is in the right position being a householder being a person responsible person in the family he have to talk the same generation the last generation the coming generation and he is between the it is a bridge mother and father is bridge <coughs> between the generations so their speech their voice is also playing a good role for the relationship so mantra is place it now remember it and I, what i want you pick up one i you need not to pick up all the mantras all the kendras but what you actually need do one of that that serve your purpose so the place is shakti kendra color is green and um, it is mantra is om reem namo uvacharaya recite three times om reem namo uvacharaya nam om reem namo uvacharaya nam om reem namo uvacharaya nam so now it is clear to everybody yes. shall i go ahead yes <laughs> now yes ah uh-huh. yes anal you see uh, oh, oh, anahat anahat chakra yeah uh, you see uh, it is according to the system wise if you go uh, in different uh, different different type of uh, Uh, like um, astrology there are some variations as well but i am following the pattern which is taught by gurudev shri mahapragya ji so it is on shakti ke hmm? so does it uh, in the antaryata mhm does it affect your buddha ga yeah mm-hmm. definitely antaryata yeah. now i am moving towards the rahu grah plateau or uh, it is place is also the same place you see one person can live in one house two can live or 3 4 5 can live or sometime hasu bhai joint family can live ha huh? sir ji <laughs> joint family can live there Uh, men 10 20 15 members can live in one house so here and the second rahu is also living here why because rahu is the heart part of the planet no, normally there are main seven planets and rahu is extra planets and it is up to here so um, it is also the both legs and up to hip joint it is area so it affects here also so we are taking the same place and it it is specially affect us uh, not to keep us more stable sometime i like this sometime i like that means my uh, uh, concentration is not much boxed on one area and i want to move want to move and you see some person like they did jobs in one area then 
totally different area then they find out in the another area means jake of all trade master of none and sometimes <laughs> you can say something again of it wavering mind yeah, yeah. wavering mind yes wavering mind and so here buddha don't want to keep himself steady uh, rough always moving here and there moving and a person don't want to move but the buddha uh, rahu gre is always keep persons move so is don't focusing on the same area don't go deep in the subject and just moving moving here moving there moving there so moving frequent fly its color is its color is blue or you can take black as well blue and black and center of energy and for getting good result of it but you know every gra has its good effect and bad effect as well rahu in this position of rahu the person is doing lot more activity out of the activities sometime it make a person award winner many of the uh, players cricket rugby and uh, so many other players they are much more influential because activity is not always bad they are moving sometime they are playing in australia sometime in india sometimes sri lanka sometimes japan sometime in uk or sometime somewhere else moving lot more movement so rahu effect them and it make these personalities award win in certain stages of their life so this is good as well but sometime a person want stability at that time if rahu occurs then it effects but the we should aware of it i can remember the great acharya vidyanand ji uh, of the number <coughs> acharya from kund kund bharti delhi he used to say that in the beginning of year i want to see how this year will go what are the planets affecting me if there is some bad effect i meditate a lot i do more japa less out of communication and i can save myself because highest position of the acharyas and sometimes being the acharya they have to deal so many other things so uh, he always insist that we should have the knowledge of it the how this year is if there is something so we should be aware and we can save ourselves we can save ourselves from the bad impact so color is blue center is uh, shakti kendra and uh, mantra is om re namo bhagavate sarvasaunam saha very right correct sa hu nam this long hu so this is the work of raf so don't be fearful of any any graha because they always have good and bad both type of effect so nothing is good nothing is bad it is your intention try to take and be aware at the end of time and do mantra if you know the situation now i am going to towards ketu so ketu is the upper portion of the body hmm? and it is also dwelling there same place what is place <laughs> where it is situated bottom, bottom of the spine and color is blue blue this color is also blue and this mantra is also but ketu is affecting our head as well because this part is head as well so it is affecting our head and again you see there is eclipse chandra grah surya grah 
सो राहु इज इफेक्टिंग सूर्य ग्रह एंड चंद केतु इज इफेक्टिंग चंद्र ग्रह बोथ आर वर्किंग एज शेडो बिटवीन सन एंड मून एंड देन लूनार एंड सोलार एक्लिप्स हैपन एंड इन द साइंटिफिक वे प्लूटो एंड यूरेनस बोथ आर वर्किंग एज शेडो बिटवीन सन एंड मून सो दिस केतु इज ऑल्सो इफेक्ट अवर इंटेलिजेंस Uh, be aware of it, but it it is helping to improve for study and for knowledge. It helps us. Now I am moving Venus, and I am going from down to up. Hmm? All the so now Shukra Grah, Shukra. Its center is. सेंटर ऑफ हेल्थ सेंटर ऑफ हेल्थ कहाँ है वेर इज सेंटर ऑफ हेल्थ लोअर एबजॉर्ब दिस एरिया इज सेंटर ऑफ हेल्थ एंड इट कलर इज वाइट एंड पर्पज इज प्रोस्पेरिटी प्रोस्पेरिटी एज वेल एज हेल्थ इट इज लाइक आवर आउटर ब्यूटी ग्लो Skin, so many things is related to Shukra Grah, and also sometimes if Shukra is not in right position, then it creates a kind of wavering or wavering in mind in such a way means. Person is not true in their relations. Wife is at home, <coughs> but person is going out, look, looking the other lady. This is also bad effect of shukra. It happens. So, if the shukra is in the bad position, one should do lot more jab of Om Rim Namo Arhanta. Mind is not going in the wrong track, so it affects our reproductive organs, our sexuality, and even it is related to prosperity, even related to beauty and skin, everything. And it is mantras is Om Rim. and everything so it is life force when we born we are connected where with whom by what you know from mother mm -hmm. huh? and that is umbilical cord hmm? mother and umbilical cord so whatever we get through it for 9 months First, when a baby conceived till nine months, we are getting all the nutrition from this point, from not mouth, not nose, not even breathing, nothing. Ever all connection through this suma <coughs> point. So this is very very important point of our life, a life force. So it is related to life force and mental energy. Just I was reading, Acharya says one book. If you want help, pay homage to Sun. Arogyam bhash karat ichhe. Ask Sun for good health, because our own energy points get energy 
and even the sun, sun flower, and leaves, plants, everything, everything of this earth is getting energy from the solar energy, a very big source of energy, solar energy. Nowadays in <coughs> India, uh, maybe in next 10 years, India will be the powerful country due to highest solar energy, especially Rajasthan, Gujarat and some other areas of India having continuous um, out of 12 months, uh, 11 months, some bright sun, so solar energy, less no pollution and everything can run. So it is a force. Sun is powerful and it affects our mental energy as well. And it affects the whole uh, procedure of digestive system. If digestive system is weak, because where is digestive system? Here, mm -hmm. nearby, nearby. Hmm? So it affects our digestive system. It affects our outer luminousness. And it can digest. If solar energy is good, they can digest well. So sun is this color is red and center is bioelectricity on the belly button and mantra is what is mantra now i am moving to us mangal mangal graha Center of bliss. Consasthan hai? Mangal gray kaha hai aapki body mein? Where is mangal gray in your body? Near heart. So it is center of bliss. Mangal gray. Its color is again red. And it is related to our attitude. Now I go a little bit deep in Mangal where Mangal is situated near the heart. And heart, what is heart? What is our heart? It is a pumping station. Pumping station of blood throughout the body. Sometimes we talk change of heart and <laughs> my heart feels good. This. this heart? No. This one. There are two hearts. Acharya Mahatreke once delivered a lecture. I'm collecting. Uh, it was 30 years back. Just I was entered in the Parmarthik Sikshan Sansta and his Chaturmas was in Ahmedabad. And at that time, Pandit Govindasji, Vedde, a prominent Vedde in Ahmedabad, now he passed away. But he, he was a polyglot in the field of Ayurveda. So in his clinic, he uh, arranged a program and he welcomed Acharya Tulsi, Acharya Mahapragiji over there. At the time, he was Yuvacharya, Yuvacharya Mahapragiji. And Yuvacharya Mahapragiji delivered a lecture about two hearts. When we listen this topic, we were small in our teen age, 18, 19. So he said, Acharya is sometime making some joke. So two hearts. Where is two hearts? Two lungs, two nose, two eyes, two ears. This everything we know. But where is two hearts? There is only one heart. Do you know two hearts? Anybody? Yeah, good boy. Very good. Very active. Huh? So, listen. He delivered his lecture that I can say there is two hearts. Yes. Mitra Vadagame. Come like a friend, and if you come like a friend, you can get place. <laughs> yes. So, the concept of two hearts, he delivered a lecture and that lecture was that we have two hearts and one heart is this heart 
which is a pumping station of blood and the second heart which is inside our human body and that heart is our hypothalamus all the feelings emotions and everything is related to this area so if we talking this heart this heart is not related to the feelings this heart is not the heart which we can feel the change of heart hriday parivartan ho gaya a personality development change in the personality that is not due to this heart because it is a pumping station when archer is finished his lecture then pandit govind nath ji came and he said i am very happy acharya mahaprajya by his deep research with the scientific research proven it it is in charaka sangita it is in ayurved that there is two heart in human body but it was just mentioned there is no clarification so as bau motu kanto kadyo chi every day this he expressed this immense pleasure you know when to gnani to polyglots in their field one is in the field of spirituality meditation and science and the other one is the polyglot of ayurveda so he was so happy then we came to know but we are in the teen age so first we joked it there are two hearts but we understood so the mangal grah is relating to our pumping station heart means blood pumping it is nearby this and the area it is affecting it is blood area so whenever there is any problem which is blood related to be concentrate on the mangal grah that is the maybe the bad situation of mangal grah not in the right transit or mangal grah is affecting or mangal grah in down position so that it affected i would like to tell you one incident of my life i in i joined parmarthik shikshan sanstha at the age of 18 and seven year i did my training after training i initiated in 80s and uh, in 89 and then right after that ajis sent me to learn computer and do computerization of jain agamas so we i stayed in kolkata for four years so i was staying in bajrang jain's house after my initiation i spent four years in bajrang jain's house and all 32 agama jain canonical literature was computerized at that time so bajrang's uncle came from guwahati and just he was talking to us looking at me he told me some need not now but in future you will have some blood related problems and you will have some surgery as well in that time i i, I was not aware of all these things and no knowledge of all these things then then i came to my group leader and he said this kashi uncle he used to kashi uncle say so kashi uncle told me like this as, as soon as he entered he saw me and he said some is be aware of the blood um, problems and you will get some problem not now but in future and just he predicted and then she said don't mind he is speaking like this so i forgot all these things but the same situation came when i 48 and something came and i remembered just recollected that thing that it is and then i read uh, i asked someone to read my horoscope and they told me that is yes mangal is not in the right position so you see we all are affected by the planetary system so mangal affects our uh, blood <coughs> circulation and blood related diseases occur due to mangal there are some skin diseases these are not only skin diseases they are affected by the blood mm-hmm. so if blood is purified then 
skin disease is automatically removed. There are high blood pressure and low blood pressure. That is also related to mangal. Now I am coming to us. And <coughs> mangal is always energetic, always fiery. And making like army men, troops, policemen, and those who have such energy do and die. They are always ready with the flag. So such personality is Mangal dominated. Uh, I think you should wait. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there is no room in <laughs> this room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There is. There is. Yeah, yeah. Later, wait. Um, may I finish? When I will finish, I will go. So, um, red color. So it affects our attitude. Nay, so, so ah. uh, Yes. So it affects our attitude. Means always with high energy. And this person gets this type of problem. So if we meditate on heart area with the mantra, what is the mantra? Om Rim Namo Siddharam. Om Rim Namo Siddharam. Om Rim Namo Siddharam. So, this is the mantra of Mangal Graha. Now I am moving to Chandra Graha. Chandra Graha, a Chandra, you know, moon. <coughs> moon, it is related to. Tamme Sambalu has said, when we are going some journey always so if uh, not now but in old age or even when we were small kids sometime uh, my grandmother used to ask the Panditji what is Chandra if my son is going to Kolkata so in our behavior sometime we talk the Maru चांद तो जो लो के ऊंचे चांद हम्म अपना चंद्रमा देखा या नहीं हाँ so it in a taunting way हाँ it means our attitude our situation our mind चंद्र is related to it is it is watery force चंद is related to water you have seen during the fortnight period पूर्णिमा और अमावस्या there is eclipse of Chandra and again there is uh, Jwar Bhata tight in the water mm -hmm. and water is affected with Chandra and our body contains how much water? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. So much portion of the body is water. Mm -hmm. So water is the biggest force in our body hmm? mm -hmm. and water is liquid mm -hmm. and liquid is always moving, moving. movement and you see some person tamhi aasho mwavis so thayo kyam nati aya ke maru mood nati mood change thai ke ghana loko che many people their mood is changing all the time they are bit happy unhappy sometimes balanced unbalanced so this all is related to our mind and mind is related to our chandrama and chandrama is situated on the toe so mind related any sort of digit is to the chandrama uh, such persons are always wearing air airy not stable not working on the ground so this situation is created by the bad effect of moon but moon is good. Moon is necessary because through the mind we can connect past, present and future. We can do imagination. We can recollect the history and we can uh, work in the present due to our mind. Balance of mind. Without the balance of mind, nobody can work nicely. So moon is good. Uh, those who have good moon, they are poet, composers. And they have written thousands and thousands of songs. So moon is 
is boon thomai but moon sometimes become a sordid boon when it is not in the right place so place is moon throat be active color of moon white friend purpose of moon balance of mind and mantra of moon om rim namo arahantaram om rim namo arahantaram om rim namo arahantaram now i am moving to us guru grah this is the group leader of all grah yash guru prabal asti graha tashya karanti ki one who is guru is powerful nobody attack on it nobody do anything wrong to it maybe rao is there shani is there <coughs> Rao is there mangal is there if guru is powerful person is power and the guru's place is center of intuition i just place of pituitary and pineal in the glandular system master gland is here and master grah is here so it is very important place and such person is bestowed with creativity they can think something new they can give new things new inventions scientists and those who have creativity artists scientists and religious persons personality which is related to spirituality because it always makes a balance it don't believe in imbalance of anything and always nyaya priya always like to be making a balance in inner and outer personality inner and outer world inner and outer uh, people also so this is most important and these people are blessed with guru gra they are powerful personalities in the world world dominating personalities and this mantra is om rim namo loe sapasahunam no it is my mistake om rim namo ayeriya i will uh, modify it om rim namo ayariyanam om rim namo ayariyanam om rim namo ayariyanam so this is uh, guru ki now i am moving to shani set and shani is this place is top of the head when shani comes it is also a toggle switch it is doing good doing bad it is on the top so when shani comes in a good situation give you high post and high life and making you more meditative more in mantra more in spirituality more tyag more pratyakyan means you are deep in spirituality once it is a puranic story shani told to shiva lord shiva i am coming to you or not for one year not for two and half year but i am coming seven and half year sade sate Lord Shiva said, "What will you do for me? Because in there, in these deities, they also have some ego. Since mm-hmm. I am high, <coughs> there is a place of ego." Mm-hmm. So Sunny said, "Okay, be aware. I am coming. Okay, I am not saying anything." Then Lord Shiva said, "Himself. He talked himself. Self communication. Sunny is coming. I must give him some trick. I will go in the." on the top of the kalas parvat on the kalas mountain and in a deep cave and i'll sit in meditation look what what he will do and he was in deep and crossed in the meditation years passed 
seven and a half year fast. And then Lord Shiva brought his meditation and he came out. And he said, he saw the sunny was going very slowly. Oh, Sunny, what are you doing? Look what you did on me. Nothing. Then Shani told, Oh, this was my impact. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you do Tandam Nritte, Dug Dug Dum 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 Dum. And I kept you so quiet, so deep in meditation. So you never ever lived for seven and a half hours. So it is the effect of sun. When Shani Grah comes, people sometimes very horrified. Oh, Sunny Sari Sari. But it is not altogether bad. If Sunny is on the highest position, it is giving you good, like king-like position. And if you are deep in meditation, nobody give you any painful situation. You are inside you. You are the master of your mind. You are the captain of your soul. So nobody can affect you. So it is the impact of shun. So knowledge, center of knowledge, dark blue color, and it give us high spirituality. But if it is not in good, then be aware. Sometimes it affects our health, relations, and work. Everything is sometimes shattered. So. Uh, if it is not in high situation, then try to do more job of Om. Namo Loe Sarvasaunam. Om Rim Namo Loe Sarvasaunam. Om Rim Namo Loe Sarvasaunam. So, this was presentation. Now I have couple of minutes. Yes. yes. Um, in the planetary systems, um, each planet also has a particular motion, so a particular form that it um, works around in its movement um, around the cosmos. Yeah. And that movement and that shape, I think, must also be related to each of the chakra centers as well. Um, I haven't looked into it in that relationship, but I think it must be um, the same. Yeah, they, they related to the centers, definitely. They have, uh, that's why I told all the psychic centers have a good relation with the, their position, where they situate, situated. And that's why the remedies like uh, meditation or mantra or color combination, so if we do that, that is provide us healing power and troubleshooting and problem solving as well. Yes. Each girl has a similarity with the other girl as well. Mm -hmm. No, not similar. Yeah. Yeah. For example, the uh, uh, moon, huh. Chandra, huh. is similar to Ketu girl in terms of color and uh, Ketu is, Chandra is white and K, Ketu is black or blue. No, blue. Yeah. But blue and white is a similarity as well. It's a mm. color of peace. Oh, color of peace. Yeah, in, in that and color. And the purpose as well. In that Stability color. and uh, moon's uh, balanced mind. Yes. Yeah. Ketu also affecting, I told you, something some portion of our brain and uh, uh, Chandrama moon is also affecting our mind so mind don't have a particular place in our body yatra manas tatra pavane mind is like air and it is moving everywhere and the speed is like more than a light ear so um, something you see Something is common in me and you, something is common in me and Manjuji, something common in me and Raji Bhai. So you see, that is there, always there. Okay. It means they don't have separate planets. They all are affecting each other and something, something is mixing to each other. <coughs> You're right. But uh, the color blue and white, different. And the one potentiality, one quality is, this coolness is 
common. Coolness is common in both. The coolness of blue is different. Coolness of white is different. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Certainly. Yes. The position when you say it's like center of in intuition is here. Is it literally here or is it literally inside the brain at that position? Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, the junction of the both nostrils mm -hmm. and then inside, inside the brain, not in, here. Okay, not here. Inside the brain. And it's connected is it from the top? Uh, inside from the center. Yeah, uh, what we think that we go halfway and come up yeah, to here, then the meeting point, and there that um, pituitary gland mm -hmm. is situated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is like one third of head. Yes. Here, mm -hmm. and then inside. Yeah, it's so a meeting yeah. point of both. Yeah, mm -hmm. it yeah. It's, it is like a, uh, like a P. Peanut type. It's black, blue. A blue, you can take blue. That is my life. So, my session is over now. And now I'm handing over to Puni Pragyaji so I can go and, yeah, please, one uh, little bit, please. Samaik. 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 Yes, she can come. Yeah. Fully Is it automatic? Okay. Right.